guys. Welcome back to Robertson's Belly Acres. Um, hey guys, so uh, if you're following along, you know that Rusty and I are um, downsizing and moving. We are selling our farm. We're downsizing from a, a fairly large house to a, a very small house. So Rusty and I have been um, all over Marketplace on Facebook selling things. Uh, because we have a lot of furniture to fill this big house that we're going to have to get rid of to be able to fit into the new house. So um, we were talking this morning about um, how much cash exchange has been going on because when you have yard sales or you're selling online, you know, it's all cash. Um, sometimes you get lucky and you get the PayPal or Cash App people that will, or Venmo or whatever, but for the most part, it's, it's old fashioned, we're um, trading money. So um, we started talking about um, counterfeit money and how to spot counterfeit money fairly fast if you are, you know, selling things from home or, you know, uh, in a um, yard sale situation or something like that. So uh, a couple of months ago, our little town was rampant with uh, counterfeit money. And so, um, of course, the easiest way probably is to uh, go to I think you can even get them at Walmart now, but you can go to an office supply store and you can buy the little pin. And if you mark the bill and it stays yellow, then it's good. But if it turns black, then it's a it's a react a reaction, and it will turn black and it will that will say, hey, this is not a good bill. Okay, but <laughs> I don't have a pin with me all the time, and I don't think about that um, until after the fact. So. Um, I was a banker for 12 years and we learned how to spot uh, counterfeit money fairly fast. Now there are different tools that um, bankers use uh, so then that way they're, they're for sure saying this is a counterfeit bill. So the first thing that a banker will use is a machine. It's a sorting machine, it counts the money, but it also kicks out anything that is a little bit suspicious. So normally what we would do is we'd run it through if it kicks something out, we'd make sure all the corners were unfolded and make sure everything and run it back through. If it kicked it out again, then we'd you know check it over, maybe send it through a third time. If we checked it over and it just didn't feel right, well then we would either take it to a black light or we'd you know, mark it with a pen or we'd do both, you know, all of these things. There's all kinds of things that uh, a funny money <laughs> bill will go through before it's determined that it is counterfeit money. Um, if it becomes, if it is counterfeit money, uh, your banker will not give it back to you. Your teller will not give it back to you. They will say, this is counterfeit and you have to either take the hit on your deposit or you need to replace it. Now, a lot of people ask, well, what happens to a counterfeit bill um, after it's determined counterfeit? And the banker keeps it. Well, what do they do with it? Do they just pass it on to the next person? Well, the answer is no. Um, it does get sent to the Secret Service. And there's an entire process. You have forms you have to fill out and you have to, um, it's, it's an entire process, but it does get sent to the Secret Service. And that is, that is the department who takes care of counterfeit money. But that's not what this video is about. This video, you guys, is about picking out counterfeit money in a uh, cash purchase situation. So, um, first, <laughs> uh, usually you're not gonna worry about a $1 bill. <clears throat> and yes, I do have, we have every denomination here. We went and pulled it out of the bank, so then that way I could do this video. So and we're gonna put it right back in. So don't worry about that. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, so you've got these, um, one dollar bills normally if you get past a counterfeit one dollar bill honestly it's going to be very poorly done because it's just i mean obviously people are not going to spend their time and energy making uh counterfeit one dollar bills because uh, it takes a lot i mean these people that are making this stuff it's a it's a complete business it's a it's a big investment on um them perfecting things so yes a one dollar bill can still be counterfeited. So let's let's delve into this a little bit. 
in a one dollar bill if you hold it up to the light there they don't have any um, holograms or anything on a one dollar bill like they do on fives and, and higher they don't have a strip and I'll explain that to you here in a second when we get to the bigger denominations but old Georgie Porgy here George's lapel is going to actually be ridged okay so I don't know if you've ever felt a one dollar bill but right in here I don't know if you can hear this his lapel there's ridges let me see if I can get it right in here see how you can kinda of see that where his lapel is and it's on both sides well maybe but mainly on the side right here you just run your nail across it and you should be able to fill ridges if you don't you may want to get your one dollar bill checked out okay another way for a one dollar bill is okay you have to remember that money is printed on big sheets and then cut right so it's a a very uh, symmetrical process everything is cut the same printed the same um, as it's coming through this machine so this is not a 100 percent surefire way because it is a machine that's doing it but it is something that you can check if you're really wondering if you fold your one dollar bill make sure that your corners are um, just even and you put it together I'm doing this with one hand so bear with me if you are exactly lined up it should line right up but like I said it's not surefire um, sometimes it comes through the machine a little funny but it should be darn close like right there you can see it's probably like half of a centimeter off but that could be the way I'm holding it too so anyway that that's another quick way to check a one dollar bill but honestly if you get a one dollar bill and it feels funny just say hey can I have a different one dollar bill <laughs> because uh, I just I've not seen it now we have seen you know uh, where someone will take a one dollar bill they will cut a 10 or used to be able to do this can't really do it too much now that they've changed money but cut a 10 and put a 10 over this and fold it up and they hand it to you all folded but that's some really tricky fast talking uh, people that are are able to pull something like that off you know and pass it off as a 10 you know somebody just sticks it in their pocket so always 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 unfold your money always look at it um, know who's supposed to be on your your money you know George Washington on the one if you get a ten dollar bill and you unfold it and you see George instead of Alexander if it's Washington instead of Hamilton well then you know then you're gonna know hey <laughs> something's funny here so always 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 unfold money uh, people usually hand money over you know like this always unfold your money always count it always it's not being rude it's just good business okay always feel things you can kind of feel um, if something's different if it's slick you know it, it's going to be fake um, and always feel the lapel if you're questioning okay so that's a one dollar bill so a five dollar bill um, there are several different ways on the new five dollar bills which I think these are more in circulation now than the than the old printed five dollar bills not to say that the old ones aren't still out there but um, these are more in circulation when when they first changed to the new money oh that was years ago um, I mean over ten years ago I'm sure um, yeah it was kind of hard we always had to be on the lookout for the old and the new but we're talking about the new bills so again um, old honest Abe here his lapel you're gonna have ridges so you can see the ridges you can see how it's printed but if you run your nail across it you're gonna be able to feel feel the the ridges in his jacket okay also on a five dollar bill if you hold it up to the light so if you're outside or uh, it's sunny you can see the fives here 
You can also see the big five on this side, on the right side, and you can see this strip. Now this strip says 5 USA, 5 USA, 5 USA, and here in a minute I'll run all of them with the black light. Um, they all have different colors. Uh, they all glow different. So uh, I, I think the $5 bill is green, but I'm not sure. They're green, yellow, blue, pink, and red, I think, or orange and red. But um, yeah, so the $5 bill this strip right here will glow and I'll show you guys that here in a second because it's always fun to pull out the black light and and show that um, when I used to train my tellers I think that was always the the most fun part to tell the tellers hey come here look at this <laughs> this is really cool because someone who hasn't dealt with money a lot it, it always blows their mind so anyway so a five dollar bill hold it up to the light um, there you've got the fives on this side you've got the big five on this side the lapel should have grooves you should be able to feel that um, running your nail over that and um, yeah and if you don't if it's at night and you're outside or whatever hold a flashlight up to it make sure you can see those okay or hold it in your headlights whatever okay so a ten dollar bill let's look at that one real quick um, oh, Alexander here. I, I want to break out in song, uh, but I won't sing. <laughs> His lapel, you're going to feel those grooves right there. It's like scratch and sniff stickers over here. Just don't sniff it for real because money is gross, you guys. Money is nasty. Okay, so then hold it up to the light. Here's what you're looking for in the light. You're going to find Alexander is here, but you're also going to see a uh, hologram, or not a hologram, but a, a little uh, silhouette. Man, all these songs are popping in my head. If you guys know what songs I'm talking about, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sparing you not singing. But see, here's this little silhouette of Alexander over here. Oh, that, that's better. Um, and then his strip is right here. Right there is his strip. And it's it says 10 USA, 10 USA, and it glows a different color in the black light. We'll, we'll run them all through the back black light here in just a little bit. So that's what you're looking for on the $10 bill when you hold it up to the light. Okay. Now a $20 bill. $20 bill, same thing. You're going to feel the lapel there on oh Andrew Jackson. And then this is what you're looking for when you hold it up to the light. So the strip on the 20 is over here on this side. See that strip? It's just going to say 20 USA all the way down. I don't know if we can see that. Yeah, 20 USA. And then that's going to glow on a black light. And then you get a silhouette of Andrew over here. So you've got Andrew here and then a little silhouette right there. Okay, and then a $50 bill, Ulysses S. Grant, um, you can feel it on his lapel, it's pretty subtle, it's not like huge grooves, but if you run your nail over it, you're, gonna, you're going to be able to feel it with your nail, okay? When you hold it up to the light, his um, strip is right here, a little bit closer to him, and it says 50 USA, and then also you're going to get the silhouette there of him. All these new bills also, sorry, have a, a holographic, um, oh, let's see, nope, not all the new ones. The $100 bill has the holographic line in it, so... But, yep, that's what you're looking for in a 50. <clears throat> in a 100, oh, Ben Franklin, you can feel it. Like, you can feel, if you run your nail across his face, you're not feeling anything, but you get down here to his lapel, you can feel that. So there is there is a quite a bit of difference there um, when you're looking for that. Okay? And these have the holographic uh, line in them. That makes it nice. You can actually see that if you hold it up, 
it says 100 all the way through it, and you don't need a black light for that one. But it still has the strip that says 100 USA over here that is going to shine in a black light. I think it's red. And then the little silhouette of Ben Franklin over here. Okay, you guys, so that's just a quick way to just some quick points on uh, spotting funny money when you're when you are dealing with um, cash um, cash transactions. Those are not the only ways that you can spot them, but those are just very quick ones. If you're holding them up to the light, that's what you're looking for. Those are the things that you are looking for. So, and it's not rude. I've never ever made a cash transaction and paid someone and feel um, like they are judging me or anything if they hold it up to the light. Um, actually, I am like, that's a good business person to me that I just respect them more for that. Um, of course, I've worked with money. I, I worked with money for a lot, a lot of years. And that was um, kind of my uh, wheelhouse was the compliance uh, part of it for a while. So um, I, I just find that uh, to be good business. Okay, you guys, so I have darkened the room so that we can do this black light and I can show you the different uh, colors that they that the strip glows in each bill. So I just think it's fun. Have you ever noticed when you darken a room, you feel like you're supposed to whisper? <laughs> I noticed that right away. Like I started talking and I was like, what happened to my voice? <laughs> it's silly. Okay, here we go. Okay, there's that pretty black light. Oh my goodness, look at all the stuff all over my desk. Okay. Let's be fair, this is my sewing room, or was my sewing room. And so all of this that you are seeing is fabric. It's, uh, you know, from the fabric, all the, see the little threads and stuff <laughs> where I've cut fabric and sewn. And so, yeah, <sighs> if you ever want to know how filthy something is, just run a black light, right? <laughs> I promise that's fabric. <laughs> so a $1 bill does not have a strip. So I'll show you real quick. There's not a strip in a $1 bill. Um, but a $5 bill does. So these will kind of glow, The what we looked at. But see, that little strip, it, bl it glows green. And it just says 5 USA all the way down. So then a $10 bill, it's over here. Glows orange. And it says 10 USA on it. And then a $20 bill glows bright green. I guess that five is more of a yellow, isn't it? So, and see how it says 20 USA. And a $50 bill glows, oh, that's real yellow. 50 USA. And then a $100 bill glows red. So there you have it. Um, if you have a black light in a dark room, hey, you can check these out fairly simple. I just, I know that that's not a, um, a practical thing to do in a cash transaction. Hold on, let's go into this dark room. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you guys because I just, oh, it's blue. Yeah, there it's blue. I just like, uh, I just think that it's, it's so cool and people get a kick out of it whenever you, you first see it. So, uh, with your cash transactions, that's an easy, those are easy ways to spot uh, counterfeit money. If you do get something that's counterfeit, uh, you know, then that, that ends up being a, a really awkward situation. Because <laughs> a lot of times <clears throat> somebody has been passed a counterfeit bill and they don't know it. So, um, you know, it just kind of depends on how you want to handle it at that point. If you are at a store or at a bank or something and try to pass counterfeit money, I am telling you that they will not give it back to you. Uh, you will have to, you just take a loss on that. So I always think of that when, when that, I've never been in a confrontational situation on a cash transaction uh, outside of a bank. So I've always had a policy to back me. But um, I, I feel like if I were ever in that situation, I feel like I would weigh that out and I would say, hey, I'm not comfortable taking this $5 bill or this $20 bill or this $100 bill. I, you know, I'm, I'm looking at it. I don't feel like it is real. I'm not blaming you, but I, you either need to give me something else 
you know, another form of, of money and I would be happy to hand it back to them and say, you know, you, you need to go get that checked out because that, that I don't feel that that is a, a legit bill. And um, because at the end of the day, um, you if you take it, you're the one taking the loss. And <clears throat> if you just pass it on to somebody else, well, then the repercussion can come back on you. So that's what I weigh out. I would definitely say I'm not comfortable taking this hundred dollar bill. I do not feel that it is a uh, a good bill, and and I would never be accusatory because it there it, chances are that person was passed that bill. I, I hope you guys like these kinds of videos. If you do like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, share with your friends, and um, smash that bell. <laughs> comment. I'm sure some of you have a lot of easier ways or different ways to check. There are a lot more ways to check uh, a, a counterfeit bill, but I just kind of wanted to go through the quick glance of uh, uh, checking the, the currency. So anyway, until next time, you guys, God bless.